Are you ready to get creeped on? That's probably the creepiest thing out of this video is gonna be me <laughs> telling a bunch of young people that they're about to get creeped on. Yeah, that's scary. Scarier than the levels we're probably about to play. But you never know. So what I've done is I've went and I've searched for a bunch of creepy levels in Geometry Dash. Now there's a lot of horror themed levels that are kind of horror based, but they're not really like scary. You know, there's a lot of like really cool like cartoony horror looking levels. But they're not really unsettling. You don't look at them and you're not like, ah, oh, that's creepy. So what I've done is I've tried to find some levels that were kind of creepy. Although, I mean, it is hard to find, like, really scary levels in Geometry Dash. Because you're limited within the scope of the game. But I've tried to find some levels that were creepier than the rest. So, first things first. We gotta get this out of the way. This is a level that came out a few months ago. It's called Lost Locked. And I have heard a lot about this level. I've heard it's one of the creepiest levels in GD ever. So I've always wanted to give it a shot. So by the way, I mean, before we start, the song is called Skull.OGG, which you're going to see is a common theme in the levels that we're going to be playing today. There's a lot of Skull.OGG levels. Because the song is creepy, apparently. Oh, jeez. I died. I don't think you're supposed to die at this level. I think it's supposed to be like way easier than normal deadlocked. Because <laughs> stupid! Boom, boom, hit it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I think the scariest thing about this level is that I can't beat the beginning even though it's like way easier than deadlocked. <laughs> My skills are the thing that's scary. Jump, just focus. Come on, there we go. Oh, wave. We're slow. This is easy. Normally, this is three times, right? Oh, that's a, that's a little unsettling. They're not. Ah, my God! <laughs> One of them just came for me. Get out of here! <laughs> that was actually really creepy and pretty unexpected. Oh my God. Okay. Ooh, I like the way everything's moving there. Ooh, this is pretty creepy. I'm into it. Oh, wh whoa, 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 it looked like it was like a portal or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this part's still kind of functioning. Ah. They're coming. Oh my god, those things. It looks super cool. I don't know if that was the right way to go. I know that was for like a coin, Jesus. That freaked me out, man. The guy came for me and then I just like, I'm like, it's gonna kill me. It's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna catch up to you. Otherwise, level would be impossible. Just don't focus on the scary enemies behind you. It's the same philosophy of like, if there's scary monsters under your bed, just don't look at them. Don't look under the bed. They're not gonna come out for you. They like it under there. They wanna live underneath the bed. Ah! Ah! They will not come for you. If you look underneath the bed for your monsters, you're an idiot. Oh boy. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I jumped you. Hi. I feel like if I go into practice mode, it'll defeat the purpose of, like, the horror of the level. It's like if you go into practice mode and you're hearing this, the practice song, like, do, 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 it's like the level's all of a sudden just not scary anymore. Ah! Ah! Okay, we're making it. Yeah, we got past the hardest part. Okay. Just go. Don't die. Don't die anymore. What's going on here? Save me. That was kind of creepy. You stupid idiot! Save me. Oh, whoa! Okay, let's, don't shoot me. Oh, that guy looks like he needs help. Oh boy, he just got crushed. Oh, that one looks creepy. Hey, whoa, whoa, don't smile at me. Yikes, this is unsettling. This is really unsettling. I don't know where I'm going. Just stay in the middle. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, that was a really sudden ending. Wow, just over. Then the level finishes. That was good. I think that's like the creepiest Geometry Dash level I've ever played. That was, that was really good. Like... There's a lot of panic at the end. You're like, what? I can't see. What are you doing? But it's obviously like auto. It can't kill you. But you're trying to fly straight, do like the deadlock thing. 
And then like and going through all the blocks, right? Because they move during that section of the normal level, and this is like over and it finishes. That was a really exciting level, yeah. I, I like it. So, anyways, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna find a scarier level than that. But I do have creepy club step by Diamond Kinger that I did find in the recesses of the internet that has the OGG song as well. <laughs> so this is yeah. This is skull.ogg. Except club step version. Now this one isn't well known though. Oh, see, it moves a little bit. It's kind of creepy. I don't think it's gonna be as creepy as last lock though. But oh, there's blood! Oh my god, there's blood in club step! I searched I had to, ah! See, I had to search far and wide for this. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we've seen that face before. I've seen that face somewhere before. But whatever, we're gonna do it. This is just club step, but creepy, isn't it? Ah yeah, yo, yo! Yo, yo, what else are we gonna find here? Well, that looks kind of creepy. The club step eye. Ooh, the glitchy effect. It's like last lock. It's like exactly like last lock, yeah. This is club step but easy, but with blood and last lock faces. Oh, we're going. We're going places. Can I remember which ones to hit? Okay, good. Only the ones you're supposed to hit are left. It's a lot of blood. You, you can't see the spike in the blood. That's why there's a lot of blood there because so many people have died there and the blood just splattered. That it's it's literally a bloodbath. Ha ha ha! What? It's blocked. You gotta go up, you stupid weedy. Are you gonna make me practice this level? Am I gonna have to practice this? Okay, up we go. New territory, baby. New territory. It's fake! I know this. Because I had to practice it. <laughs> Let's go. All the way to the end. Finish this creepy love. Blood! Oh! Ah, ah, ah! Die, die, die! I'm not gonna die! Don't tell me to die! <laughs> Alright, I mean, that was pretty good. I was fairly creepy. I like it. So this had a very lost locked feel to it um, with some of the glitchy effects and some of the uh, the faces that appear and stuff. But it was still pretty good. Like it wasn't as good as lost locked, but it was still pretty good. And this is, this doesn't have that many plays on it. So I am going to give it a thumbs up. Diamond Kinger, I think he did a pretty good job recreating the lost lock style on a club step. So yeah, that was, it was pretty creepy. So the next one we're doing is Stereo Revenge by Quasi GD, which I guess is a stereo, stereo madness with Skull.OGG as well. Like I said, oh my god, isn't that scary? Those flashes, it's subliminal messaging that I'm gonna die later. Wow. Ooh, oh, <laughs> I like that flashy effect though. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it died to Stereo Madness. It's all these creepy effects is why I died. Whoa. The creepy effects, they're getting to me, what? It just like pushed me into the ground. Ah, I'm alive. Or is this the afterlife? Are we in hell? Can you hear them? They're trying to tell you something. I'm listening, but it's inaudible. I can't tell what they're saying. I'm playing with them with such fun, almost as fun as you, Chris. <laughs> Chris, is this for Chris Credible? There was gear, no, the JK Kyle House so much more, never mind. How'd you know my name was Chris? My name's not Chris. It's time for your soul join. There's Chris. My name's not Chris. My name's Eric Van Wilderman, but you can just call me Eric for short. Happy one year stereo revenge. Okay. Well, that was interesting. It started off really creepy. The stuff with Chris and those other names and stuff. It, it was okay. The ending was a little weird. But I really liked the beginning of the level. The first part with the Stereo Madness bits. And how it suddenly stops and then you die with the knife. And then, I guess, you're going to hell or something. I don't know. Who knows about the end. The next one is Sonic.exe by Edix. And if you guys don't know what Sonic.exe is, it's a creepypasta. Whoa. Whoa. It was considered like six years ago, like one of the scariest things to watch on YouTube. Jeez, I'm gonna die because of all the shaking. What is going on? I can't control myself. Sonic.exe opened, yes. 
Error 404. Run! Oh no! Run! Sonic's gonna come for me. You gotta go fast! Gotta go fast, boy. Oh, oh! Oh, where you UFO? Almost died. Is it possible to die? I don't know. What am I doing? Where are we going? I feel like I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm not playing that well. Loading. Sonic World. Blah, 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 Sonic World. <laughs> it's not loading. There's an error in the system. Go. Ah. All that shake, man. Is Sonic, is Sonic gonna come out? <laughs> Gotta go fast! <laughs> when's he gonna... When's he gonna pop out? Jeez! What happened to Sonic? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You can't even see! Sonic just killed me! Okay, we're flying. We can fly. We can fly. Look at... <laughs> Sonic! <laughs> oh my god, he's coming! He's bloody! What's wrong with you, Sonic? I thought you just wanted rings and you were happy and you wanted to save the world. You wanted to save the animals from Dr. Robotnik. Oh, he's going behind the eclipse. Oh, he's creeping. He's creeping behind the eclipse. Sonic, what do you want from me, boy? There's no rings back there, Sonic. Sonic, what's wrong with you? I love you. They're gonna make a movie about you, Sonic. Are you upset about that? Are you upset, Sonic? What is it? Can I die here? That's the scary part. Can I die? Because I don't want to go through all this again. I'm you monster level! Why the hell would you do that? Just make it scary! What the- I hit the jump ring! I did the thing! This is the true horror. Okay, wait. Tap, 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 tap. And just wait. Don't just fall down. We don't even jump, we just wait above those spikes. I swear to god if you kill me now. I swear to god. Really? I played this level twice more just for that? There's no ending! That was really good though. Other than the little trolls at the ending. That level was cool. I really like the aesthetic of it. It's creepy all the way through. And uh, I love the way Sonic goes behind the eclipse or whatever that is at the end. When he loads in Sonic.exe. I thought it was pretty creepy and unsettling. Really, really enjoyed it. But yeah. Seriously, if you're gonna make a horror level and you're gonna have it unsettling, if you have to play through the level like four or five times to be able to beat it, it doesn't become scary anymore. <laughs> so maybe not kill people at the end of a horror level. The next one we're gonna play is called Skull OGG. Because the song, the scary song is called Skull OGG. And this is just Skull OGG. This is a random one I found. Honestly, I just looked up Skull.OGG in as a title and I figured we'd give it a shot right maybe it's scary oh he's getting he's getting closer I better put my hand on the mouse oh uh, uh. Ah! <laughs> of course the massive shake I don't think this level would be that creepy if it didn't have the massive shake imagine disabling shaking going into this it would just be like lettering like ha <laughs> going across the screen. Help, fake! Rah! Okay. Jump! It's no, it's fake. You tried to trick me, question mark? Whoa. What? Oh, that's real. <laughs> See, this part you don't have to jump, right? It's all just fake. And in this part, question mark? You don't have to jump here, right? Okay. So don't jump. There's a spike above me. Like, there's an invisible spike. Is this still moving with me? I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna. Pr I'm not gonna press anything. Skull.OGG, the scariest song in the game. Oh my god. Is it gonna be just this till the end? Just sit back and enjoy the song, ladies and gentlemen. Skull. Oh, it's changing, it's changing. Let's go, what's happening? Huh? 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 Is there gonna be a jump scare? Ah! Alright, well. Well, that one wasn't very scary. But I did like the concepts at the beginning where it shows the fake stuff you have to jump through. And then it's not really fake. It was like, whoa, it was kind of shocking. It had a couple good ideas in there. Um, but they weren't fleshed out and there was a lot of nothing. <laughs> a lot of just nothing. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed these levels. A few of them were genuinely unsettling and creepy. A few of them not so much. A few of them had some good ideas, but they weren't, they weren't the best. But... 
you know, there were a few that were really good. And so I'm glad we did this. I know, maybe I should have waited till Halloween to do this. But oh well, summer can be creepy too, right? Because everyone's out. Everyone's everyone's going outside. Everyone's like, yeah, it's summertime. Let's go outside. Let's go camping. And then in the middle of the night, Slenderman comes into your tent and's like, ah! Because that's what Slenderman does. He, blah. He, I don't think he does that. All right, well, remember to leave a thumbs up. It helps me out immensely. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.